Hello everyone, Shroomox here. Welcome to episode number one of Let's Play Factorio with Bob's Mod Season 2 Reboot. If you have missed the channel update, then let me explain to you real quick why it is a reboot. And that is my Windows installation broke down and um, unfortunately I wasn't able to fix it. And in the end the only thing I could do was um, to wipe the whole drive and install Windows again. Unfortunately, that uh, did some collateral damage to various projects. The most um, noticeable damage, I'd say, was uh, to Factorio, because I was unable to save the save game. Unfortunately, there is also no Steam Cloud save, so Season 2 is basically lost. But I'm not willing to give up. I'd rather start again than completely give up. And we can start with some new interesting mods. Let me take you on a quick tour here. Um, I have most of the mods of the old season 2, but I've added some new mods as well. So we've got additional turrets. And um, what this does is add new um, adding new turrets and shells. Turrets such as um, mortars, or rather howitzers, which are able to attack over longer distances. Um, some uh, some really really big uh, <coughs> really big gun turrets. That's really awesome. Uh, from what I've seen from the mod, that is definitely something that is awesome. Then we've got better offshore pump, and all that does is a adds a higher tier offshore pump, um, which has, as you can see here in the description, a better flow rate than the base uh, game offshore pump. This should hopefully help with um, Bob's steam generators. Then we have... Let's see... <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? Deltic Hunk which is an improvement over the um, old honk mod. And honk just makes trains honk. <laughs> when they arrive at the station or when they leave the station or when the player wants to honk. Uh -huh, where is... Oh yeah, Factorissima 2. Introduced in the last episode of the old season 2. And um, yeah, this time I can actually go into this more deeply. So, we've got fusion robots for Bobs. Basically, they are very expensive, but they don't need to recharge. So this is really for the large um, endgame factory. Uh, junk rails. That is um, a very interesting mod. It adds a very low tier, crappy junk train and junk uh, rails into the game. That can be used from um, early tier on, from early game on, and um, that is pretty awesome. Then we have Hazard's Gravestones, so when I die I don't lose everything, I just have a gravestone where I can get everything back and uh, I think it allows, allows me to respawn, but I'm not yet sure. Increased water heat capacity, this should also help with... Um, with the steam generators, with the high tier steam generators. Then we have long reach. I hope this time it works. I hope. <laughs> then we have map labels. Map labels is um, a very simple mod, but very, very useful because it actually labels the uh, different mineral deposits or deposits. So um, I don't have to guess which or is which, you know? Then we have New React. This is a mix between the mods Nuclear and Reactors. It uh, seeks to combine the best of both mods. And from what I've seen, it does its job well. Then we have Reinforced Walls. Reinforced Walls just gives um, us um, wall upgrades of the appropriate research. So. We built the normal walls, but we can upgrade them through um, ah, through research. 
Um, Rocket Auto Starter. Now, I'm not sure if this is um, necessary because of the other mod that I have that auto launches uh, rockets. You know, the big ones from the Siders for the end game. But um, yeah, we'll see. It basically does the same thing and does auto launch rockets with satellites in them um, in its vicinity. Okay, slow evolution gives me a little bit more time to prepare. That means that um, the biters and spitters are going to be a little bit slower in the evolution. Then we have train or color. Trains will now be colored automatically after the ore they are transporting, which makes it a little bit easier on me because previously I would color them uh, manually after the ores. Now I don't have to do that any anymore. That is good. Useful space industry. This is a late game mod. Basically what it does is um, it gives us the ability to produce electricity with the satellites we are launching. Up to 6 megawatts per satellite, if I um, understand this correctly. Waltz block spitters. Now that is something um, I always thought was a bit strange that Waltz couldn't block spitters. So. <laughs> now they block it. Wind turbines. Yeah, I have chaos power installed, so wind turbines are in. But uh, these seems to be, uh, seem to be better ones. Adds multiple tiers of wind turbines, so I'm looking forward to using this. And then the add loader, of course, which I have um, implemented in the last version as well. And of course, it's. Um, is in conjunction with Bob's mod, so it works definitely with it. Okay, let's load the game. I've already made a map that I'm quite um, happy with. And as you can see, there is tons of space for building a big, 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 big base. And we've got uranium. Yep, for the reactors. Oh yeah, see that little button here, the map labels? Press it and everything shall be revealed. Funnily enough, it also reveals part of the map by the looks of it. So, let's get started, shall we? We've got coal somewhere down here. Hang on, gotta turn off the map labels real quick. Otherwise, I'm gonna think fighters are down there. <coughs> Sorry about that. We've got coal here somewhere. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot to craft this. Coal should be here somewhere. Underneath the trees. There it is. So, what I would like to do in uh, this restart is not only go deeper into Factorisma 2, no, no, no. That is, that is definitely something we're going to do, that is uh, natural. But I would like to uh, change the style, you know, mix it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. Which is why I have installed um, this early game train mod. And um, the way I would like to do is, is have little, you know, outposts. Outpost factories that uh, produce certain materials such as iron plates or copper plates and bring them over um, To the factory instead of having the production in the factory itself at least a little bit more room for other buildings and uh, Maybe makes it a little bit more um, How should I put it? A little bit more um, clean So we have a better overview of everything, you know. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the research for now. Mm -hmm. This one is the wind turbine mark two. Mm -hmm. I don't see. 
the trains just yet. Let's see, we've got the bridge railway. Shuttle train, junk trains, there it is. It costs 30 cents pack one, that's cheap. Junk train, train stop, portable chest. Mm hmm. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Let's place that down. I need a chest. Let's turn this around for now. Turn it here. And get some coal to get this thing started. That should be enough. There we go. There has to be some iron here somewhere. I think it was... Yeah, right down there. Underneath the trees. Good thing I have the chainsaw mod. But sadly I can't buy the... <laughs> can't build the chainsaw just yet. I might be able to buy it though. I have Black Market installed again. It's a... Damn cool mod, in my opinion. Oh yeah, time to test Far Reach. Okay, <laughs> I can't. What can I do this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it works again. Yep, but I'm still out of rocket fuel. I guess that bug is still not repaired. <laughs> but hey, Far Reach. Works now. Now I just have to get used to it again. Oh yeah, speaking of... Let's see, the wind turbine. I've got two different wind turbines. This one is from the other mod. 12 iron plates, iron gear wheel, copper cable, iron stick. It's not much. Maximum power output is 20.4 kilowatts. That's actually not that bad. Considering it's a wind turbine. So let's grab some iron here. I hope it's not too loud. It shouldn't be though. I think I... Adjusted the sound? Did I? Oh! No, I didn't. Hmm. I think this should be better. Sorry about that. I thought I had already done that. So let's get ourselves some 20 iron or so. That's 15, 16, 17. Almost there. And 20. Okay. Let's put that one in here. Half here, half here. You're going to smelt a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some copper. Can't wait to get to work with that uranium. Nuclear power. From what I've read, from what I've understand, is that version 15 of the game is going to have uh, nuclear power. And, um, yeah. But I didn't want to wait, to be honest. I need some better power generation, especially mid-game. And we have that now. I've got the oil steam boiler with KS mods. I've got um, the diesel engine. But some nuclear power would be nice too. And the X broke. Let's get back. Get ourselves some 
iron here. There we go. 20 plates, that's not bad. Make two axes from that. Gonna throw in the copper. Let's see, I need another drill. I need a stone furnace. There's stone. Let's go get it. Ah, damn trees. Quartz looks different now. Hmm. It looks definitely better. I mean, quartz is a crystal. And now it looks like a crystal. It's awesome. Okay. How much do we need? Good. We can have one. Needs more iron, though. Let's grab some more stone and then get us some more iron. Let's place this down. Have this face this way. And then they'll feed into each other. Don't need a chest then anymore. At least not end it at this position. Press it here. I think that will work. So, iron. Good thing we're right next to it. Speaking of, I don't see any biter nests here. Good. Then it'll give us a little bit of room to breathe. Not for long though, I reckon. And this time around, I'll do the things a little bit differently. Uh, for example, I'll take more care of the infrastructure and the defense. Just to name a couple. So, they're feeding into each other, that is good. I could use another stone furnace. Let's go grab some more stone while this is cooking up. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Time of day, visible. Kill count, visible. And nearby pollution level. Good. Oh, and I forgot to turn on the FPS count. I think I've done that via console. I'm not sure anymore. I have to take a look at it. I like to keep my eye on it. So this is cooking. 20. Let's make two more. You go down here, you go up here. Have a nice little loop here. That'll give us more than enough. Okay, I need another drill for... Um, thing. <laughs> for iron. Mm, but perhaps two or three drills would be nice too. Gotta get a quick start on here. Okay, down to one pickaxe. Good twenty should suffice. 
split that up. Offshore pump. Definitely need that one. Looks like more floors had a little bit of a change here. We've got definitely more sand. We've got cobblestone here. We've got gravel. Dark sand blueprints. Sand blueprints. Dirt. Awesome. Herringbone wood floor. <laughs> Dark wood. That sounds nice. Wood floor. We've got snow. But, uh... I don't see the other floors, like uh, the alien floor or the metal floor. Maybe that's now a research. Oh yeah. No, no, I know what I forgot to install. The sorter for the for the um, crafting tree. I gotta do that after this episode. So we need. At least two of them. We've got two smelters. I'll place uh, one here and one here. Smelters right in front for auto smelting. Let's go grab the coal and distribute it. There we go. That should suffice for a while. Let's go grab some more copper. Yeah, Bob's auras definitely look different now. Tin ore definitely looks different to this one. It's not just the color, but the shape as well. Definitely looks good though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more stone too. And then we need to build some factories so we can automate a little bit of science. So we can start researching. Mm, almost there. Ah, damn it. Broke again. Okay, this is going, this is going. We need a little bit more stone, I think. Let's see. Yeah, more stone, more iron. <laughs> Let's see, how much does it... Cost five. Good. Need two of them. Maybe enough stone for another two, so we can make some drills for the copper. Let's go grab some coal here and some iron and start building it. Oh, it's night. There was an interesting mod that would let biters only attack at night and then in waves. That was actually quite uh, quite intriguing, but I wasn't sure if it's going to work with Bob's mods. I might have to take another look at it, because that would be interesting. To have the night time basically uh, dedicated to defense. That would be cool, I think. Let's go grab some more coal. I need some more stone. Need a bit of iron production. Mm, 20 stone should suffice. We make two more 
drilled and uh, smelt this. That should suffice, I think. There we go. Two drills, two smelters. Get some more coal here. And free up some of that iron. To be honest, resource spawn directly underneath a forest wasn't the best. But damn. This map has a ton of space. At least the starting area here. Okay, let's see. One and two. One and two. Let's give it some of the coal. Get some more iron out of here. Factories. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm, I need one of you. I need copper. Let's see. Right, far reach mod. <laughs> Completely forgot about this. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's see. That is 10. So let's make 10. Can start putting that down here. Doesn't have any electricity though. So we need electricity. Which. Let's me test this these wind turbines. And then there's of course we need some electric poles here. Let's do this distribute a little bit of coal here. At least I'd like to. If I would better press the right button. Okay, research packs are almost done. There we go. Ten. I've got some iron ore here, don't need that. Let's put it into the smelter. Okay, almost there. I can start trying out those uh, wind turbines. It's five of them, so that should be a hundred kilowatts around, I think. Let's see. 20.4, so that would be, yeah, a little bit more than a hundred. Has enough wind. It has strangely enough water and temperature. I suppose that's a limitation of the game. <laughs> so let's make sure that is in range. That should start working now. I think. It's not complaining about no electricity anymore, but they are not running hmm curious curious you know what let's get some steam engine that's going just in case or maybe you just want they don't want to work let's try something maybe it's about the space they have hmm no, not really. And they are stopping. 
right after they are produced, uh, right after they are built. Yeah. Hmm. Strange things. Okay, I got five of them. Let's make another five, and then I'm gonna need some stone. Speaking of stone, I could make drills to automate stone processing, harvesting and processing. Or rather, harvesting. I just need stones right now. Later on, the processing can be automated. Well, so let's make a little bit of space here. So we can fit enough drills. Since stone is needed quite a bit, I suppose two or uh, three drills should be fine. Mm, one. Gonna place that here. Just in front of it. I don't have coal. There we go. Should be enough. Let's get another one going. And another one. Good. Oh, not enough iron plates. There we go, that should fix it. And we need two more chests. Place it here, place it here. There we go. Distribute some coal. Good. Then we are going to need uh, boilers. How much do we need? I think it was 12? Or was it 14? I think it was 14. Yeah. Need more stone. Need 15 more. Ten more. Then we're gonna need an offshore pump, of course. Later on, definitely mining drills, so we can automate this. Bring it over. It's another five. And that would be... Fifteen. Hang on. Only need one more. So that is still not a thing, huh? Guess that was a waste. Or maybe I just don't. I'm just not sitting in the right place. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe not. Let's give him some more space here. I'm saying they have no electricity and they're not producing any. Nope. I guess... I can remove that mod. <laughs> Doesn't seem to work. So, offshore pump, let's place that here. Oh yeah, right. I need some pipes. <laughs> Let's place that... Right here. In one row. Looks like there's some trees in the way. Let's get rid of them. There we 
we go. And place the other five down. Going for a fourth setup here. <laughs> place this down. There we go. Underground pipes, two sets. And then, of course, we're going to need the laboratory. If I can hit it with the mouse, then the power pulse as well. I don't need you anymore. You're not working anyway. There we go. And now it needs some coal. There we go. 266. And of course, this is going to need some power poles as well. Same on the other side. One more. There we go. Just have to put that in the vicinity. Put that in. And, um, oh, right. Right, right, right. Hang on. I think I know why it wasn't running. Let's try this again. And of course, place them correctly. Otherwise, my OCD is going wild. Uh, I need a bunch of you, bunch of poles. I'm gonna place that here. Put the signs in. I think I know why it wasn't working. They probably need a constant power drain. Let's see if I start researching automation. Now it works! Hmm. <laughs> That's not enough. There. I was looking now. Ah, satisfaction is rising. At least something. Need some more coal, though. Rising, rising. Let's make one more. Just because. And put that down. So. Do I have run out of coal? See how the stone is going, that is still ongoing, good. That's more than enough stone for now. We've got some copper ore here, we don't need that. Place it in the smelters. Iron is still going, that's good. Not much coal to be had here. Try to distribute it more or less evenly. Research is almost finished, but we're going to need more. Let's make 20 more science packs, I think, for the next one. Is what I need. Yeah. 10 for each. Need a submachine gun and a shotgun, as well as armor. Who knows when we get attacked? So let's research armor crafting. Oh 
Okay. First half is finished. And then, um, let's see. Pollution is going up again. Quite a bit, actually. And the other five. Good. I'm gonna need a little bit more copper for this and iron. Let's try to get some more coal as well. Okay, next one. Military. Good. Seven. That's number eight. And ten. Good. Armor. Got the light armor. Uh -huh. and of course, once military is done, we're gonna get uh, the weapons. So, what are we gonna need next? Hmm. Electronic sampling machine? Nah. Logistics. That is what we're going to need next. So let's make 20, and then again, then again, now oh, that's a little bit too expensive. A turret, that is what we need, 10 of them. Okay, so we make uh, 30. We have some trees here in the way. Coal, let's see how much we got. Not that much, only 80. Hmm, let's try this out. I wanna see how it looks. We still got 10 minutes, so that should. That should work. Can put that in already. Military is almost finished. There we go. That should be enough for the next research for turrets. Let's go grab some more iron. And take a look at... Good, copper is still going. Let's grab a little bit more coal here. Almost fun. There we go. That's done. Turrets. Oh yeah, and then we need this. 30. We do this after turrets. Ah oh, no. After, um... Oh, where is it? Logistics. So, we're gonna need one... No, 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 no. Not one pistol. One submachine gun and a shotgun. Then I want at least 20 magazines for this. 
a 20 for this. Let's make a 25. Science packs are almost done. And after this, I'm gonna queue 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 for the trains. And of course, defense needs to be researched as well, so we can start walling off the base. Okay, that is done. We've got cobblestone. Let's see how it looks. Looks strange. Yeah, I'm not sure if, <laughs> if I like this. <laughs> that kind of looks like an ore field. I'm not sure I can agree with that. Okay, turrets is finished. Mm. What next? Logistics. Yeah, it doesn't look that great, does it? So, cobblestone was a fail. <laughs> Maybe herringbone wood floor or dark wood floor, I'm gonna queue them as well. Are going to look better. Let's see, we still got enough wood. Could use more iron. A couple though. Which are a little bit... Oh no, we got enough stone. It's looking okay. Let's get a pistol out of here. Oh yeah, turrets. Uh... I need one radar. I'm gonna make 10 turrets. I need one factory. And I'm gonna need um, two inserters. Okay, science pack is being worked on, awesome. Logistics is, yeah, it takes a little while, a little while longer. In the meantime, I'll clear out some more of these woods. Gonna make sure the um, coal is better visible and better accessible. better I think <laughs> okay science pack is uh, about halfway done let's put that into the lab Logistics is two thirds done. We have that soon. There we go. 
That's looking a little bit better, a little bit more accessible, although I suspect it's gonna take, yeah, definitely a lot more work. There's still quite a chunk down here. But for the first few mines, that should be enough space, I hope. Grab some of that coal and give it to the engines. Uh, maybe not. That needs coal distributed amongst the boilers here for the engines. Logistics is almost done. This one is done. We've got a herringbone wood. Oh, that looks rather nice. I kind of like it. And how's the dark wood? Hmm. That looks nice. Really nice. It has such a rustic look to it. Okay, next one. Uh, what was it? Trains. Trains, trains. There it is. Research this. Adjunct trains. So, between Darkwood and Herringbone, which would you go for? Personally, I think the Darkwood has a little bit more um, steampunky feel to it. And kind of like it better than the Herringbone, and definitely better than the Cobblestone. <laughs> Cobblestone looks so, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like it. So, radar. Let's plop one radar down. See how that goes. Yes. It's working. A gun turret. Let's place one down here. One here. One to the side. Definitely one over here. And I need some to protect the mines. And of course it's going to need ammunition. Let's give this one some coal here. Also stone production. Good. Speaking of which... Almost there, just five more gun turrets. And then um, we can lay down the factory for some early game um, ammunition production. Okay, we need one more turret over here. One more over here. And one more for the stone. The other two I've just cancelled it. So we can start with the production. So, first factory. Let's place that here. I need two chests. Insert here and here. Chest here, chest here. You're going to make ammunition. And then give it some... Ah, uh, 600. That should suffice. And it's producing. Good. At least we've got that automated. There. <laughs> okay. So, we have 46 minutes in now. I suppose that'll do for today. We can pick it up in the next episode next week. 
So, as always, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, then please consider to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter for channel updates as well as other gaming related shenanigans under at or by following the link in the description. Alright, I hope to see you again next time. Until then, stay safe.